As the Arizona swim team enters the final months of their season, their focus begins to shift to something bigger, the 2012 London Olympic Games. And we've decided we're going to use this, the short course season or the winter season, as momentum going into trials. So, you know, we're not putting one in place of the other. It's just using one as a stepping stone to get to where we want to be. Wildcats head coach Eric Hansen and his squad will head to Nebraska at the end of June to compete in the U.S. Olympic trials. Uh, we'll be taking a big team, probably 50 plus strong, and uh, we'll be in Omaha and, and seeing how many we can put on the team. Senior Corey Chipwood has dominated at the collegiate level and is now looking to make his childhood dream come true in Omaha. I can't even describe how, how I'd feel if I made that Olympic team. It, it would change my life for sure. I mean, I'm not I don't really consider myself the biggest emotional guy, but I may cry if I if I'd make an Olympic team for sure. As as our coach would say, Rick Demond, I mean, dream is for free, so dream big. Um, so that's what I want. Former Arizona Wildcat and 2008 Olympic silver medalist Lacey John has achieved Olympic glory and knows what it takes to stand on the podium. You step on deck. It's not about egos. I don't care about your resume. I don't care who you think you are. You're here to work, and you're here to be a part of this team. For Olympic hopefuls, Coach Hansen only has one question. What are you willing to, to pay for it in terms of expense training-wise? You know, everybody wants to be an Olympian, but there's only a select group of people that are willing to pay, pay the, the expense training day to day. So every day you're coming in here, you're hitting the grind, you know, you're going up and down the pool staring at a black line. And, but you always have that one goal that you really want to accomplish. Wildcat swimmers come from all over the country to train with the best. All the way from Milford Center, Ohio, sophomore Margot Gear is no different. Well, I came to Arizona um, hopefully to reach that goal, and that was one of the main reasons why I came here, because I felt like the coaching staff and the team um, could help me reach that goal. And so since I've been here, I've um, dropped quite a bit of time and uh, definitely getting closer and closer each day. Chit would appreciate the dedication of his Arizona teammates. You sort of have to, to sacrifice some of the college life. Uh, but, I mean, that's the cool thing about being here at Arizona is it's not really a sacrifice because that's what we all want to be doing, and that's the goals that we're all trying to reach. While the medal defines success to the public, the medal does not define the swimmer. If you're doing it just for the medal, you're in the wrong business. This swimming is way too hard. <laughs> a concept Gear fully understands. You know, that's that's been my ultimate goal for people to look up to me, for to be a, you know inspiration for other people. So that would be uh, everything to me, really. Now retired, looking back on her career, John realizes that the bigger picture was most important. It's easy to not enjoy, especially in swimming, where you know if it's tenth of a second this way, you're ecstatic. Your whole season was awesome. If it's tenth of a second this way. You're devastated, you stink, you should quit. You know, you can't live your life like that. 